Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. With the end coming near, the end of Ramadan, there is a very important topic to address uh, pertaining to the last couple of days of Ramadan, which is Zakatul Fitr. Zakatul Fitr is an obligation upon every soul. As the Prophet ﷺ said, Abdullah ibn Umar said, the Prophet ﷺ obliged every believing soul to pay Zakatul Fitr or give out Zakatul Fitr in Ramadan before the end of Ramadan. Every soul, meaning, well, it's every Muslim. Uh, who has an extra amount of food after he keeps for himself and those whom he's obliged to provide for, for one night prior to the night of eight. If you have access for that one night, then you are obliged to, uh, to pay. On whose behalf? Now every soul, who's, who's paying on whose behalf or is it mandatory upon every single individual in the community? No, it is mandatory upon those who provide for others. So the head of the household, the man, is obliged to take out, spend food on his behalf, his wife, his children, and anyone under his guardianship or he provides for, even if they don't uh, stay with him, like parents, for example, or something. Whether he is male or female, young or old, slave or free. Now, this is not applicable in our time, but it's mentioned in the books of fiqh, so I'm just stating it for that, uh, for that purpose. Now, uh, the fetus is not included in that by consensus of the scholars, though some of them said it's recommended to do so because Uthman radiallahu anhu did it. So they recommended doing that. Okay, so how much should we be given out as food to suffice for this? What's the obligation? The obligation is called asa'a. Asa'a is approximately three kgs of food. Uh, and it is from the food that is commonly eaten within the community. Some people uh, eat rice, others may eat barley, others may eat dates, so on and so forth. So it is a sa' from the commonly eaten food, uh, commonly consumed food within that country or community. The Prophet ﷺ is the one who... Uh, stated that in the books of Al-Bukhari and Muslim, as narrated by Abu Sa'id al-Khudri radiallahu anhu, he said, we used to give out during the time of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam an amount of, uh, of sa' uh, of food, dates, or barley, or raisins. Food here, as the scholars said, is the common food consumed by the people of the community as we started saying. So, can, now the, the principles that you have to give it in food. Can someone give it out in the form other than food, like for example, uh, money? Can it be given as, a, as the value of this three kg? Well, the scholars said that if it is more beneficial for the poor to take it as money, then it is allowed to give it to him as money. Or if it's difficult to uh, find a means, like in our times, to go out and distribute food on poor people. However, if, it's, uh, if authorizing someone is something that is doable, like you can just transfer to him online, for example, an amount, and he's in a different place where he has access to poor people around him or something, then that, that takes precedence than given just uh, money. When should this Zakatul Fitr be paid? 
or distributed? Well, any time before Salatul Eid, maximum two days before Salatul Eid, as the scholars indicated. You're allowed to, take it, to pay it out a day or two prior to Salatul Eid, but not anything uh, before that. And definitely not after Salatul Eid. Why? Because the Prophet Sallallahu said, anyone who pays it prior to the Salah, then it is an accepted zakah, zakatul futr from him. Otherwise, if he pays it after Salah, then it is just an uh, optional sadaqah. He is just spending. So it's not counted for him as zakah and he has not fulfilled the obligation. Who should receive this? Who's eligible to receive it? Poor and needy people. Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu said, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa mandated that we pay zakatul fitr as a means of food and provision for the needy. What is the wisdom behind zakatul fitr? Uh, number one, the Prophet sallallahu indicated for us that it is uh, it's a means of purification for the fasting person from uh, ill speech or lying or any, anything that was, uh, goes against the spirit of, uh, of Siyam or sins that he has committed. Number two, as indicated in the uh, previous narration, it's a means of provision and food for those who are in need, who do not have food, who uh, would approach Eid and not have enough or anything to eat themselves or those under their guardianship. So it is uh, a source of food for those who don't have it. Lastly, it is a way of expressing gratitude to Allah Azza wa Jal for having prolonged your life to live and reach Ramadan and fast Ramadan and finish Ramadan. So you're just expressing your gratitude to Allah Azza wa Jal and servitude to Him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah to accept from all of us. Allahumma ameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.